Hey you guys, I'm starting this video out by giving a wonderful shout out to the little girl who's saving her coins after watching her mom and dad watch two of my videos. She wanted one of those milk money coin jars and her dad ordered her not one but two and this little girl has been saving she already had a regular piggy bank as you can see in the picture but she loved the milk money jars and her dad ordered her two and to their surprise she's been saving and they sent me a picture so shouts out to you and your family and thank you guys for watching liking and subscribing check you later Hey everyone, so today in my debt diary journey, it's gonna be a little quick one, simply because what I'm using to uh, make an extra payment on today is the $94 that came from my 100 piece savings puzzle. You guys remember that. And um, I've already paid off my Ally account. I paid off my Venture account. I closed my um, Incure account. So um, I have one, two, three, four accounts remaining with balances. Now, the $94 that came from my 100 piece savings piece puzzle, I was going back and forth to try to decide which account I wanted to pay it on. And on one of my credit cards, I have recurring payments. Like I've set up payments to automatically come out of that account. So I'm wondering if paying this 80 this $94 towards that account will be more beneficial or would it be more beneficial to pay it towards one of my regular accounts with the balance. So what I decided to do was since my minimum payment for my saver account is $45, my minimum my minimum payment for my silver account is $43. I decided to just make each of those minimum payments and then just put the difference on my silver account, which is the one that has the recurring payments coming out of it. Does that make sense? How do y'all feel about recurring payments coming off on credit cards? Um, let me know. I, I understand if I carry a balance, it may not be good, but I've been carrying a balance on this card for quite some time now. and when I set up the recurring payments on that particular card, um, it gives me points, it gives me cash back and all that for the, those recurring payments. But maybe when I pay it off, I can transfer that to my debit card. I don't know. I'm, I, I'm, I feel good about not being able to just go and pay it, that it's automatically going to come out of this account. But or is that good? What do y'all think? But today it gives me day 69. And guess what, you guys? I just did a debt journey on the 5th of March. So today is my second payment towards two of my credit cards. And I'm happy about that. So happy about that. So in my debt diary, I wrote, I'm a step ahead this month. I'm paying my April monthly bill in the middle of March. Yay! Even though I'm not able to pay off another debt in full right now, I still feel pretty good about being able to pay extra. It always feels good about paying extra. And I'm just going to leave it at that and sign Melissa. So paying this extra $94 towards two of my um, credit cards minimum payments is very very good one will get 45 dollars the saver will receive 45 dollars and the silver which i have the recurring payments on won't get much extra because the minimum payment is 43 dollars but today i'll make a payment of 4 20 45 46 47 48 49 $49. So one will receive its normal $45, which actually is for my April bill. But in April, then I'll surely be ahead and hopefully 
hopefully I can pay off Saber or pay a big chunk towards Saber to get it on down. Then I'll have the big boys to tackle. So that's it, you guys. I told you it will be short and simple, and I hope you guys are having a great day, night, wherever you are, uh, wherever you are, and whatever time you're watching this. Thank you for joining me for my debt diary journeys, and I'm following yours as well. Those of you who are going through many, if I haven't followed yours, list it in the comments so I can make sure that I root you on for your debt um, payoff because that's cer certainly a big, big deal around here, okay? So until next time, you guys, enjoy yourself. Bye-bye.